These ultrasonic humidifiers get filthy. I'll show you how to deep clean it. Here's one that is completely clean, and here's one that's completely dirty. You can see how clear the plastic is and how white the plastic is. You can see how much mold and how much debris is in this thing. When you open up the two, you can see how filthy they can get. To get these clean, you need to use vinegar and water. In order to get all of this inside cleaned up, we'll pour the vinegar right inside. Now that we've got the water and vinegar in there, give it a good shake. We assemble everything and just let it soak. Letting it sit overnight makes the work a lot easier. Now when we open it up, you can see it's a lot cleaner. You can still see there's some cleaning that needs to happen. They provide a brush, so just go ahead and just start scrubbing it all out. Make sure you get the debris on the reservoir. Just scrub it out really good. You can see all the debris floating in the vinegar water mixture. It almost looks like there's pits on the ultrasonic device. If you look over here, you don't see the pits. If you look over here, you do. I don't know if it's wearing out, but it is a noticeable difference. You don't want to get any water in the vents, but I can definitely see some stuff in there, so I'll just use the brush and get everything all cleaned up. Here's a close-up of those specs. When you look at them closely, there are actually holes in there. I don't know if those are deterioration, where the whole thing's about to fail, or if they're just holes. The instructions clearly say to only use this brush in here. Both of these units have been run for about a month and a half straight, and this one doesn't have any of those holes, and this one does. I also set these humidifiers on a plate, and you can see how dirty that is. These might be things that are in the water, like impurities. With everything clean, you can put this back into service. Now it's clean and doing what it's supposed to do.